Hello, my name is David. I'm a realtor with Florida Realty Investments, and I can be reached at davidisinflorida at gmail.com. If you have any interest in real estate in the villages or its close proximity, if you're interested in buying a home or selling a home, please contact me. A lot of people have reached out to me recently asking why I think activity has slowed down and asking if interest rates are the main effect. Interest rates obviously are going to determine the potential value of a home, but I think the reason that sales activity has slowed down is because buyers and sellers cannot agree on value. Sellers are still hoping for a return to prices they saw earlier this year, and buyers are being forced to face the new reality because they can only afford a certain monthly payment. This week, we start with some good news, which is the fact that mortgage rates have fallen over the last week uh, to 6.6% from over 7% the prior week. This is the largest week-over-week -week decline since November of 1981. That is good news. Uh, there is more good news. We will get to it. Two things I would caution you about. First, make sure that you check the date on today's show. We produce this every Monday. Make sure you're getting the most recent information. The second point I'd like to make is that all of this information is drawn from the multiple listing service. It does not include any properties that are only listed on the village's own internal listing service, the VLS. Now let's take a look at what's happening with the village's real estate market itself. As always, we start with total listings, which this week total 262. They range in price from almost $150,000 to just below $2 million. And if you look at this graph, you can see that the number of listings has essentially been steadily increasing since we began producing the show uh, at the beginning of the year. If we take a closer look at these listings, we can see how many listings uh, are currently in each price segment, and we can see how that has changed over the preceding uh, four weeks. For example, this week, the most active price segment, the three dollars to $500,000 price range, there are 164 properties for sale. Last week, there were 159. The week prior to that, 157 week prior to that, 144, and the week prior to that, 134. The three to $500,000 price range remains the most active price segment here in the villages. Here we look at the listing price per square foot. This is the median listing price, and as of today, November the 21st, it is $268.77 a square foot. We have not seen declines in this listing price per square foot recently, but we remain at the lower end of the range. Next, we look at how long these properties have been on the market. Uh, as of November the 21st, the median time on the market for all listings, including new listings, is 44 days. It is not increasing substantially, but we do remain at the higher end of the range. Next, we'll look at new listings and pending sales. Uh, for the last seven days, ending November the 21st, there were 39 new listings and 30 homes went pending. If you look at the graph below, the new listings is the blue bar and the pending home sales is the orange bar. Here is a closer look at the new listings, and you can see that over the last seven days, there were 39 new listings. They ranged in price from just under $150,000 to $1.1 million. In the most active price segment, the three dollars to $500,000 range, there were 22 new listings. Last week, there were 16. The week prior to that, 23 the week prior to that, 17, and the week prior to that, 11. Here we can take a closer look at properties that went pending over the last seven days. The median for all of these properties was $240.88. This is the lowest that we've seen uh, over the last several months, and the trend does seem to be headed lower. Here we can see how long properties that went pending over the last seven days were on the market. The median time was 31 and a half days. This is not the highest that we've seen, but it does appear as if homes are taking longer to sell. Another look at the properties that went pending over the last seven days. The median price change for all of these properties was a price reduction of over seven and a half percent. Once again, not the highest that we've seen, uh, certainly not as high as last week, but it certainly does appear as if sellers are starting to realize that we're looking at a new market environment these days. 
Here is a look at the number of properties that sold and closed over the last seven days. They total 25 properties ranging in price from $187,000 to just over a million dollars. The number of home sales definitely seems to be decreasing. This is a closer look at the properties that sold over the last seven days by price segment. In the most active price segment, the three dollars to $500,000 range, 14 properties closed over the last seven days. Prior seven days saw five sell, seven days prior to that, 18, seven days prior to that, also 18, and the seven days prior to that, 12. Another look at the properties that sold over the last seven days. This is the median price per square foot that was realized by those sellers. It totals $249 a square foot, which while not the lowest that we've seen so far, if you look at this graph, it certainly appears as if sellers are having to accept lower prices. Here is a graph with some positive news. This shows the median time on the market for those properties that sold, and the median time was 11 days. This does seem to indicate that properties that are well-priced are finding buyers enthusiastic to act immediately. And the last two items we look at are what percentage of properties on the market have had a price decrease for the week ending November 21st, 2022. Almost 53% of properties listed have had a decrease from their original listing price. If we look at what the decrease is, it remains close to 5%. The median change from the original listing price is a decrease of 4.61% for all properties that are listed on the multiple listing service. So that concludes this week's look at the Villages real estate market. Once again, my name is David. I can be reached at davidisinflorida at gmail.com. If you have any questions on the real estate market in the Villages or its close proximity, if you'd like to know what your property might be worth, if you'd like to know what a reasonably priced offer on a property that interests you might be, or if you'd like to be placed on a mailing list to be alerted when properties that might interest you reach the market, please reach out to me at davidisinflorida at gmail.com. Hope to hear from you. Take care.